the best. That's right. The best. The Shout best. out to Dana Owens, Queen Latifah. Gosh, I heard that, man. Look, that song is never Yeah, love song, man. Bro. She just had like, you know, they had like some, um, all her videos like on Revolt. I was watching them and I was just going down memory lane like, man, Queen Latifah was just the baddest. She really was. She, she was. really was. Uh, so we got one more trending topic. I don't know if you guys have heard of uh, Jimmy Kimmel, maybe... I think he's, his run is over with. His is this Jimmy, is Fa Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel? Kimmel. Kimmel, okay. Fallon ain't never leaving that job. Oh, no. no. That's, got the, the, roots, that's the, dream got the roots job. and everything. Yeah, yeah so Jimmy Kimmel's going to be leaving, and they say Stephen A. Smith will likely be the replacement. How do you feel about Stephen A. Smith? Can he fill the shoes? Does, Man, I love it. I love it. <laughs> you love, I love it. You, you love it. I, lo I love it, too. Tell, tell me it. why you like it. I like it because Stephen A. has always wanted to do something other than sports. Yes. And he all if you if you follow Stephen A. Smith and you watch First Take and you watch the Stephen A. Smith show, I think that's the reason why he started the Stephen A. Smith, Smith show because he wants to do other stuff besides sports. He's very knowledgeable about other things. He even right. went into boxing. He's hosted like boxing fights and, yeah. and things like that. So I would love it for him. And I think he's such a... He's such a captivating personality. I think he would just bring in so many different people. And, I, I mean, of course, it's, I think someone, it's, it's someone of color. Well, I think he, I, I'm going to keep it real. We need that. We need that on late night. Because you haven't had anything since Arsenio Hall. So, so ha and uh, George Lopez. We had, I we, love George we, Lopez. We had, we had, Lily, well. we had Lily sing. I don't know if you guys yeah. are familiar with yeah, Lily, but she was on at 1230. I can't stay up no 1230 to watch you, night. Lily. Well, it, it, I tried to watch Lily and I was falling asleep. I got to go to work, girl. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be good for Stephen A. Smith because if you look at his background of Stephen A. Smith, so it's just like a late show. Right. It's already set up that way. The topics and things like that. He can be funny. He can you know, he could be um, still controversial. But I think in this, how can he do both? Is he going to be able to do Late Show at night and then do Stephen A in the, yeah. uh, well, well, since, in the morning? Well, since I live by Hollywood, I will tell you, he'll be able to do both because ESPN is at L.A. Live. So if he, okay. does, if he does that, he'll have to do it to where he's kind of like in a Zoom where they have – they're not at the studio because Bristol, Connecticut is where they actually film the um, – First take. It's it's kind of yeah. like it's New York and Connecticut because it's on the bridge. What were you saying? I was going to say if Ryan Seacrest was able to do three shows. Exactly. So can Steven Smith. And Nick Cannon did a, a and bunch too. I love it. And just means I get to watch him three times a day. Because he's go. also on General Hospital as a brick. A so brick? You don't get burnt out? They've No. No. Okay. They, there has been other ESPNers um, that have done late night. Including hmm. Bill Simmons and Joe Buck. Do you guys remember those? I oh, remember Joe, Joe Buck. Buck. Joe yeah. Buck still does football with yep. uh, J Troy Aikman. Oh, he's big time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Joe Buck is big, but he had a late night show. Yeah, that's what. That's yeah. what this, that's wow. his article saying. I just don't see his personality yeah. for late night. I think what he does as an announcer is cream well, of the crop. Yeah. they both flopped. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I think I think yeah. personality wise. You know, I think Steven so A got Steven the personality. Yeah, I, I think that would do well. I like him. And from what I, I've only seen him once or twice on daytime uh, General Hospital, he's good. Yeah, I love him. Wow. I Wait. wish he was like a re like reoccurring, a reoccurring like, character. That, that's on all the time. N not just like once every two weeks. Stephen A. Smith? Every, yes. Mm -hmm. Is on a soap yeah. opera? Brick. Yeah, his yeah, name yeah. is Brick on General Brick, Hospital. Yeah. He what? Pays, he pay, plays the mobsters like one of his like right hand. Like, Sonny Garantos. Oh, something like that. so yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You that didn't know that, cool. Missy? Yeah. No. no he, he's, he's definitely doing his thing. I just think that he... He is really salivating at getting a moment to do something other than sports. And I right. think it's a big dream of his. Look at, sh look at Shannon. Look at Shannon. Yeah. Look at Shannon. And they're, and they're friends. And they actually work together on first take. So I think he's probably looking at what Shannon uh, Shannon Sharp did with Cat Williams. And he's like, man, you went into another <laughs> stratosphere with doing something other than sports. Yeah, now you're a host. You know, I'm going to do that too. So, of course. Wait, who did it first, Steven or Shannon? Uh, Sh Shannon, Shannon Sharp has Club Shay Shay. And Club Shay Shay is... It's, Kind of like the Stephen A. Smith show, but it's a little different because what he does is he interviews people in entertainment. They could be comedians. They could be musicians. And and basically, of course, he had the viral moment with Cat Williams mm -hmm. where it just went crazy. Right. But they Shannon Sharp works with Stephen A. Smith on first take at ESPN oh. on Monday and Tuesday. Oh. So what I was just saying is he's probably looking at his co-hosts saying, man, you got this club Shay Shay show where you interview all these different people from different walks of life. I can do that too. But Stephen A, he did it first long, long ago he, he when did. he was having a Stephen A. Smith show. He was interviewing like basketball players. Yes. And that's where I was like, yes, who's doing it first? 
Yes, I yeah. he was. did. He, what he was, was it, only, the name of that show was? It was I can't just remember. the Stephen A. Smith show. I think that's what it was. Because um, then he he kept changing the titles to the yes. show, and he says, "You know what? I'm yes. just gonna come back to the Stephen A. Smith show because right. he interviewed Alan Iverson, Kobe Bryant, but it was more sports related. Yeah. It wasn't okay. like." Right. Comedians or anybody else. Right. Actors, Actors singers, exactly. People okay. of prominence. Yeah. I just have right. a request for Stephen A. Smith if he comes on. Please keep Guillermo because I love that guy. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, I think Guillermo's going to go. I will. Wait, I, Guillermo's with Jimmy Kimmel, not Fallon. Yeah. Yeah. He's, that's what she. That's, that's what he said. Yeah, that's, that's what, what, that's what, what he, he corrected that's me. What he it's Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel. He corrected oh, me. I Jimmy asked Kimmel. if it was Fall- Fallon or Kimmel. Yeah, Fallon. Kimmel. Oh. I mean, Fallon has the, the dream job. He would. He's not going to go anywhere. He's yeah, going to be there. He took over 90. the Tonight Show, so I mean, it's already <laughs> been established for years. Yeah, yeah. he's not going anywhere. Um, I will tell you guys if you guys if he gets this job, we got to go to that Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. 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 We got to do go. it because yeah. I'm not too far from there. <laughs> we got to um, go. It's at El Capitan, especially if they I mean, in it Hollywood free to get in. Yes, yeah. but we just got to request our tickets like in advance. Well, we got to do that now. And Stephen A. Smith, if you're hearing. You can come on our show before that. That's of true. course, yeah, absolutely. That's that, true. that would be of be course. I, I would episode. love that. We definitely would have to do that. That would be awesome. But I think it's gonna be great. I hope it. I hope it happens for him. I hope it works out. Could he lead up to that. Arsenio? Could he be better than Arsenio? Because Arsenio has some men. The, the one some of the best interviews of all time, going back to Vanilla Ice. MC well, Hammer. If this happens, it's not happening until 2026. After 2026. That's, oh. when, that's when his. That's, that's when, when his contract, when contract ends. Expires. Oh well, forget the tickets. Yeah. Well, that's when the contract. It's expires. gonna be here. Like <laughs> you trying to fill them in now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the way time is moving, time is moving so fast. You guys realize the Olympics is like in a couple of months. Ah. Oh my god! Like crazy. And then we about to have the next Olympics in 2028. So LA is gonna be just. Psh, LA so. is crazy. It's happening. Hey, so. man, it has been a great show. It has. It has been. We are signing off. It's Junior Leto. This is Francois the Great. Missy Talks. Peace out.